Hola mi gente, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Alba Mar, me pueden decir Alba, el canal se llama Seriela. Estamos aquí para hablar del libro, algunos de ellos en español desde Puerto Rico. Hello, my name is Alba Mar, you may call me Alba. Channel name is Seriela, we're here to talk about books and some of them in Spanish from Puerto Rico. And let it not be said that uh, we don't do things well here in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico does it better. Puerto Rico lo hace mejor. Yeah, we just had another earthquake. A 5.3 at 7.13 in the morning as I was making breakfast to get ready to do my uh, uh, reading schedule for May and plan out my TBRs. Uh, yeah, had to get under the table. I have a picture of it right there. And also a screenshot of uh, the big earthquake at 5.3 uh, this morning. And epicenter right here again in the southern part of Puerto Rico. Uh, every five minutes there was an aftershock, so I was basically under the table uh, for 15-20 minutes and then got out, had my breakfast, and being the stubborn person that I am, uh, I decided that, uh, yeah, I was going to do the video after all. I had been uh, thinking about maybe not doing the transition video uh, this time because, uh, yeah, I have a lot of things on my mind. Uh, like the pandemic, yeah, and now the earthquakes again, yeah. But I decided, no, I'm not going to let that uh, bother me. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. And so, yeah, I decided to do uh, the transition from what I read in April and uh, what I will be reading, the options that there are for May. So yeah, here we go. What did I read in April? I am very happy to say that I did my Puerto Rican reading. I told you before uh, that I had read uh, Antonia, tu nombre es una historia. And I will link uh, that video up there if I learn how to use the cards. Yeah, finally. And then I took two or three days to read this book, which is essentially part of our Me Too movement uh, by journalist Yvette Sosa, Hostigador en Serie, a harasser, serial harasser would be the translation. Uh, yeah, this is uh, that, that skyscraper, multi-million dollar skyscraper is City Hall in Guaynabo, uh, which some people call Guaynabo City, uh, which was originally Guaynabo. And its uh, mayor uh, was mayor for 24 years, during which uh, time he harassed a number of his uh, women employees. And uh, a few of them uh, finally uh, denounced him. And this is essentially the story of how that happened. Interestingly enough, his case has not gone to court yet. For a number of reasons, uh, technicalities, uh, legal technicalities, he has a very, very efficient uh, defense lawyer, and, first of all. And then uh, came the earthquakes. And after the earthquakes, the pandemic. So his trial, he hasn't gone to trial yet. So it's a good thing that she had her book published in August of 2018, because uh, if she had waited for the trial, <laughs> she wouldn't have never got the book published. Very good book. Those who read Spanish should get it. Very fast read too. Then I highly recommend in English, Aftershocks of Disaster. It's a book, a multimedia book, because it has uh, theater, poetry, uh, essays, articles, journalism, has everything. But of course, being the nonfiction person that I am, uh, I gravitated towards uh, the essays and the articles. It is this uh, book, edited by Johnny Mad Bonilla and Marisol de Lebron, is a wonderful, wonderful uh, compendium of things that occurred 
after Hurricane Maria and it shows disaster capitalism at its very finest. Yeah, so I highly recommend this book. Seek it out if you're interested. Reading about Puerto Rico before we disappear. Yeah, and then in one sitting I read for Read More German Books, uh, which is an activity hosted by Britta Bowler and Mel at Mel's Bookland Adventures. I will link that down below. The Journey to the East by Herman Hesse, which is a short novella. That's why I could read it in uh, one sitting. And it's like a mystical allegory of people on a pilgrimage to the light, to the East, right? And uh, it says here, <laughs> I think <laughs> I marked this one because it reminded me of Steve Donahue. <laughs> you ask if I know you. Well, what person really knows another or even himself? As for me, I am not one who understands people at all. I am not interested in them. Now, I understand dogs quite well, and also birds and cats, but I don't really know you, sir. <laughs> it just made me think of Steve Donahue and his love for dogs. Yeah, uh, I enjoyed it. I really did. Allegory, mystical, spiritual allegory, yeah. And I could also tell that they're, they're talking about the mystical journey to the East, as if, you know, Eastern religions and Eastern spirituality, there was a fundamental, basic foundation there uh, of Christianity <laughs> that Hess could not hide. <laughs> yeah, it just comes out in the pores. You could tell. So that was... Oh, and then, of course, I read Song of Solomon. I finished Song of Solomon on the 22nd, on Earth Day. And I had read this as a young uh, mother many years ago and uh, really, really loved it as a reading experience, as a literary experience, because I noticed uh, it came full circle. And for some reason, that really, really satisfied me as a reader. This time, of course, after many, many years, first of all, I was surprised at how much I had forgotten <laughs> about the book. It was as if I was reading it for the very first time. This time, because I'm reading it for uh, the Read Tony Morrison 2020 group that Hannah at Hannah's Books has formed over on Boxer, uh, I have the added advantage of having read The Bluest Eye in Sula before rereading re this one and now could see certain patterns, could recognize Toni Morrison's style of writing and enjoy it a lot more, especially uh, how she sets up her world in her novels and oftentimes with a lot of wry humor, which comes in handy because huh, the rest of it packs a wallop in terms of heavy duty issues like family relationships, like ownership, like feeling part of the land, like racism, of course, uh, and money. All of those things. It's just a rich, rich, rich book. I enjoyed it again. Not the same way I did the first time, but I think much more deeply than the first time. I'm looking forward to the next one, which is Tar Baby, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I'm keeping up with that one. Hopefully. Although, for May... Everything is going to be an option that is not the BookTube prize because the BookTube prize, all six books, are going to be a priority 
for the month of May. I had started, as I told you, uh, two books already uh, in digital format on the Kindle. Uh, I will put them up here, The Only Plane in the Sky and The Heartbeat at Wounded Knee. I hope to finish those this very weekend, uh, giving them priority, and then continue with the other four. Okay. Of those four is uh, the puzz uh, Sea People by Christina Thompson, The Puzzle of Polynesia. And she said, Breaking the Sexual Harassment Story That Helped Ignite a Movement by Jody Cantor and Megan Tui. And uh, the two other books I will show up here because they're in digital form. Uh, yeah, everything else uh, is going to be an option. If I get to it, fine. If not, I'm sorry. But I really do hope to get to them. The Good Son, uh, a novel for Asianathon, a novel by Yu Jong Jong. Uh, I saw this, I think, on uh, Mel's channel, Mel's Bookland Adventure. And I'm going to give it a try if I can. And then uh, Jason at Old Blues Chapter and Book, and, and I think uh, Lukash also. Uh, I will link those channels down below, have uh, an event, a reading event, which is called uh, Maybe Midrash. And for that, please look for the details uh, on that link on their channels because uh, my phone doesn't have too much storage. So, yeah, I'm going to, if I can, if I can, uh, Jose Mara Saramago's El Evangelio Según Jesucristo, the Gospel According to uh, Jesus Christ uh, by Jose Saramago, which is the fiction, and then the nonfiction that I selected is something by Karen Armstrong. I decided to go with Islam uh, by Karen Armstrong. So, yeah, that's it, people. No more time. Uh, please take care of yourselves, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Uh, whatever you want to say down in the comments, please feel free. And uh, I will keep on keeping on. Let's see how many aftershocks there are today. Cuídense mucho, mi gente. Los quiero mucho. Sigan leyendo. Adiós.